scenes in the North Auckland township of Oriwa last night, with police having to separate protesters from attendees. The meeting didn't get violent, but comes at a time when the term co-governance is controversial and there are still 42 more events planned. Tia McDougall reports. No. Chanting no in the faces of Māori protesters. No. Supporters of the anti-co-governance roadshow didn't hold back when confronted by those opposing the meeting. The roadshow is organised by this man, Julian Batchelor, who wants to spread his stance on co-governance. It's illegal. It's based on a fraudulent interpretation of the Treaty of Waitangi. However, he's often met with protesters. Yesterday's were from local iwi Ngātū Manuhiri and members of the Te Heringa Waka or Orewa Marae. Oh, the protesters don't know what a racist is and they, they don't know what the Treaty of Waitangi is. From being there I could tell that the attendees were fearful um, and they were worried and they were misinformed. I didn't expect it to be what it was. There was about 20 to 30 police officers there. Authorities kept the peace but insults were still exchanged. He said, um, your, what was it? You're horrible. Um, and then he followed up by saying, and you probably stink as well. Okay. How would you describe the behaviour of some of your supporters? Oh, my supporters are fantastic. They were amazing. Sometimes they're a little bit conservative. But supporters are not enough. Bachelor wants his message known at the Beehive. I've had political parties talk to me. Um, I'm not prepared to say who they are. I'm trying to get 100,000 people to the Auckland domain just before the election to send that message to all the political parties. A message to end co-governance. It's a touchy subject for some politicians, but not all. We've been really clear that actually not just co-governance, but tinoranga tiratanga for Māori and iwi and hapu is of benefit to all of us as a founding Kopapa of this country. For now, there are 42 more events planned on the roadshow. Supporters, protesters, and police likely preparing to be at all of them. Tim McDougall, News Hub.